I guess in this video lecture, I'm going to discuss what how to connect Microsoft SQL Server database with Beekeeper Studio. So let's open there Beekeeper Studio. And when you opening the first time of the Beekeeper Studio, then you can get this console. So here you can select the new connection, connection type. You can select MySQL, any other database. So this is a lecture about the SQL Server, you can select. Then here connection type SQL Server. You need to give here host, local host 1433 is the port. And here you need to give the username and the password. So when I open there, SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So from there you can easily get here the database and uh, the connection details. So here you can see server type database, server name. This is you can connect with the SQL Server. Let's give SA account and uh, your trust connection. You need to enable this. After that, click on this connect. This is reconnected here and now you can see the database Adam and Adam is there. So this place same thing here username giving SA and now let's give the password and after that the next is uh, here let's make that trust connection and uh, now Let's give the database name Adam. Okay. And thereafter here. So domain. Let's leave this and let's click on this test connection. So there is the problem with the port. So since I'm using the Microsoft SQL Server 2022. So there is the port is 1434. So here I've given the port 1434. Now let's click on this test connection. So this time that's connected with the Adam database and this auditor you need to give it. So make sure that you have given the correct port. If 1433 that's worked, then that's fine. Let's click on this connect. So now you can hear HRA schema and Escort schema that's come there. So HRA schema you can see this all. And this here is in inside in Scott schema. If I double click, uh, then you can see here this is the data that's present there. And now you can right click any data uh, tables. You can view tables via structure. So with the help of view structure, we can easily analyze how the table that's created. So DPT number, this three columns is there. You can get here index relationship. No relationship trigger is there but if i go on this here let's right click there on emp via structure so you can find your index currently this is the uh, loading one index is there one relationship with fk dpt number relationship with the dpt number and this here foreign key relationship so there is no any trigger inside there and after that, you can do many operations in this place. You can get here import, export, here copy. If I click on this SQL create. So with the help of this, we can easily analyze how the table that's create. So create table DPT number. And here alter table DPT number. Constant is DPT number. That is primary key. Okay. So you can uh, copy this and you can try this anywhere. So you can try this query in anywhere else. And after that, there you can truncate the tables, drop the tables, you can duplicate, make it duplicate. Okay. So this is how we can do here the connection with SQL Server database with Beekeeper Studio. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.